Welcome traders to another Tickmail Earnings Report Preview with me, Patrick Munnerly. Before we jump into today's report, as always, we want to adhere to the risk disclaimer. The material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me in this recording are solely mine and they're not indicative or representative of those held by Tickmill UK or Tickmill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report. Today we are looking at Cisco. Cisco due to announce after the close of New York's trading today, uh, looking for an earnings per share of 86 cents on revenue of 13.33 billion. Uh, Cisco forecasted its adjusted earnings per share to range between 85 and 87 cents in the third quarter with revenue growth of 3 to 5 percent year over year. For 2022, Cisco anticipates earnings per share of $3.41 to $3.46 and revenue growth of 5.5 to 6.5 percent year over year. Cisco should continue to grow at a decent rate thanks to its new product releases, its impressive track record and leadership position in the networking space. However, the ongoing semiconductor ship shortage, uh, inflation and macroeconomic concerns may have an impact on the company's performance to some extent. Uh, Cisco's product order growth will likely cool off, analysts say, uh, when reporting third quarter earnings. The uh, computer networking giant has reported product order growth of more than 30% for three straight quarters. In the January quarter, product orders jumped 33%. Cisco has hiked prices amid these supply chain issues and component shortages. And amid the volatility in the tech heavy NASDAQ, Cisco stock has actually retreated 20 plus percent in 2022 so far. Let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns around uh, Cisco earnings release. Shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, six out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock has actually moved down 1.2 percent in the first day after the company reports earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Cisco is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 0.7%. On average, the stock has moved higher one week after earnings for an average gain of 0.2%. From a volatility perspective, options traders are pricing in a 5.7% move on the earnings release, and the stock has averaged a 3.8% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, Notable selling 2,000 contracts of the $48 put expiring Friday, uh, June 16th, uh, 2022. Options order flow sentiment has actually been in general bearish. Investor sentiments uh, going into the earnings release has 61% expecting an earnings beat. Cisco shares price uh, has drifted down 11.5% post earnings announcement on average using the last 12 quarters data. The average drift between earnings announcements is about 3.8%. Okay, so let's take a look at the technical setup here and see if we can identify some uh, near term trading opportunities. So looking at the chart here, on the weekly chart, I would highlight the similarity in terms of the price action that we've seen here uh, with the COVID uh, pullback that we saw in the stock and uh, we can see the distinct similarities in the price patterns here. If we get a similar setup, that would actually suggest that Cisco would trade down to test the long term trend line to $37, $38. In terms of the daily setup, uh, areas of interest for me are going to be any test into the $46 uh, area. This represents an uh, an equality objective versus the 5770 swing high there. So I'd be watching this 46 area closely. Bullish reversal patterns there would uh, encourage me to engage on the long side, looking for a move up into the high volume node at the 5550 area. And you can see here, if we look at that overlay versus the COVID uh, move to the downside, that would actually coincide with a pop there similar to what we saw uh, in the midpoint of the decline there during the uh, pandemic move. And so if we do get up into this $55, $56 area, I'd be watching for bearish reversal patterns there as, the, as an opportunity to potentially play for a more meaningful leg to the downside to target that $38, $37 area in the long-term weekly trend line. And from there, that would be an interesting entry point to build a more meaningful long exposure to, uh, to Cisco. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.